Oh, well, hello everyone and welcome to another Funza Academy math video. Uh, solving puzzles, as you know, is fun. It keeps the mind active and also is great if you are preparing for competitive exams. Uh, I subscribe to many puzzle groups on Facebook and enjoy solving and seeing others solve puzzles. Sometimes I see interesting puzzles being posted, but sadly I only see answers and no discussions about solutions or methods. For example, take a look at this puzzle grabbed from Facebook. This is no doubt a very popular puzzle, but then take a look at the discussion around the puzzle. As you can see, there are just answers being posted. Perhaps 51 is the right answer, but then perhaps it is not, even though most people here think it is. So what is missing here is a nice discussion. So in this video, I'm going to share another very cool puzzle. This puzzle too has been extremely popular on Facebook and other social media. But what is also interesting is the fact that the problem does not ask you for a solution. It just says, share if you understand. So in today's video, we will do two things. Firstly, I will introduce this problem to you. And secondly, and more importantly, we will make sure that we understand the pattern. And if you understand the pattern, you should be able to solve this problem. Alright then, please pause this video and see if you can solve this problem. You first have to understand the pattern and then tell me what two numbers, which are represented by these two question marks, will give us 1, 2, 3. Oh, welcome back. So we will proceed by using our gut feeling or intuition. I will first add the numbers on the left and see if the answer appears on the right. It does, towards the end. So then there are two things to note out here, addition and end. And once again, using the power of intuition, let us subtract the numbers and see if the result appears somewhere. It sure does, towards the beginning. So let's note, subtract and beginning. Now let us quickly check if this formula applies to all the numbers in this question. It does. Great. So now let us see if we can come up with a generic formula for our pattern. So assuming x and y being our numbers on the left, the solution on the right is a join of x minus y and x plus y. And now that we have this generic formula, let us apply it to find the solution to our problem. So we have x minus y is equal to 1 and x plus y is equal to 23. That gives us so x is equal to 12, which means that y is equal to 11. So one solution could be 12 plus 11 is equal to 123. Are you satisfied with this answer? Now some of you may say the following. We could also have x minus y is equal to 12 rather than 1 and x plus y is equal to 3 rather than 13. What do you think? Does this make sense? So using this formula we get x is equal to 7.5 and this means y is equal to 4.5. But of course you may argue that this does not work since our problem only had integers. But that's the whole point guys. Discussion is good. So this brings us to the end of our video. If you got a different solution or if you have comments, please post them. My name is Sanjay and I make weekly math videos. Thanks a lot and bye for now.